one and all. Wednesday the 17th of July. Again, in the UK, we have what looks like a few days of nice weather before we probably get more rain. Haven't made much again lately, uh, just because I've been too busy. I don't have a media team, I don't have cameramen, I don't have people who manage my social media. Do it myself. Now, some people might say, yeah, well, why don't you get people? But then I've got to start paying wages, which means I need to either put my prices up or work harder. I work hard enough, in my opinion. I enjoy what I do, so why change it? So as you can see, uh, I'm just on a local rugby pitch, which is by my house, and we have our free roaming sheep. Now I've just walked Billy on a lead through the past the sheep, or through, through a gap between the sheep. Um, and he doesn't pull. Don't need to, to uh, video it. I've made videos before about him around sheep. Yeah. He's now focusing on those crows. Because that's what he does. Billy, sit. 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 A lot of this is... I'm going to start making some videos about when I come out the house. Because people go, oh yeah, but when I come out the house, my dog's going mental. Sees the lead, he barks, he jumps, he does all this. Well, the problem is your dog's already bounced off the walls and you clip the lead on and take him out. So you're not getting any focus. I make him be patient, make him understand. Because he wants those crows. Now I produce a tennis ball. And kick it that way. Wait. He doesn't care about the crows, eh? Because now he knows we're going to be into training mode. And he won't care about the sheep. Sit. Drop. Heel. Up. Up. So even when I'm training now, you see, he's not on a lead now, he's walking to heel. Off lead, crows have gone, sheep are still there, if he wanted to chase them, he quite easily could, I should think. But this video really about a lot of the issues people have with their dogs. You need to step back and go, why am I getting these issues? Now, some of it, if you're a first-time dog owner, it'll just be lack of knowledge. And, and that's no blame with anyone. That's just having a dog. You. So, that's the one thing. If you've had dogs before, you may have made mistakes, but got away with it, or you may have been younger, it was your parents' dogs, you didn't really get involved. There's loads of reasons why. But at the end of the day, if you're having problems and you contact a dog trainer, take on board what they say. Because as I've said before, if you get a plumber in for a water leak, you listen to them. Anyone that's using me will know. If I come out and give you some advice and you choose not to take that on board, that's up to you. I'm not going to chase... Uh, leave it. I'm not going to chase you up. Come here. I'm not going to hound you to say why well, you've not been in contact. If you want to stick with the problems with your dog, that's up to you. If you can't be bothered to change what you do, that's up to you. Now, as we've just walked here now, very uh, random thing to show you about how you control. Bill, come here. Benny, come here. Sit up. Now, somebody on the floor has left two dog biscuits. They haven't come from me. Yes, they could just be dog biscuits. But I don't know what's in them. Come on. Ah, here. Yeah. So I don't want him to have them. So I tell him to leave them. He leaves them. He only eats what I put down for him. And again, this isn't because he's a special dog. It's because I'm just relentless. Come here. Sit up. So now we'll give him another retreat because he walked to heel. Sit. Because he's behaved and I've made him walk to heel. Wait. He gets another little reward, which is a tennis ball. Just a tennis ball. Now, at the moment, at the moment, we can't go to the places where all the long grass is because. We had quite a few reports locally of um, quite a few adders up there. Now in the UK, the adder is probably, it was only two species of snake in the UK, but to a dog, an adder isn't very good. It's, uh, it's it poisonous. Hey, sit up. So the last thing I want is to work him into long grass, he gets bit and then I've got to go to the vets. We all know how much that costs. So in the moment, I'm just doing short walks on this sort of grass. And the more you practice, the better you get. So. I'm going to quickly show you, because it's not going to be a long video today. Heel. Everything this dog does has to base around his heel. 
if he's not really walking to heel, baby, heel. Then I'll make him walk to heel longer until he walks better. Heel. Because he has to understand if he wants to play the game, if he wants the rewards, he has to show some obedience. So, all we're going to do, Bill, come here. Sit down. So this is like a memory retrieve. There's the tennis ball. Heel. And I'm going to walk him to the halfway line. He's still got to walk to heel. No beat. Sheep is still there. But because now we're into what he would classify as training mode, his focus is on me. He doesn't care about anything else. If I wasn't training, I just said to him, get on. There's a chance, a small one, but there's a chance he would chase a seat. But then he also learned very quickly that was a bad choice because I don't allow my dogs to chase anything. Ah, ah. Heel. So he knows that ball's there. Look, so he started to, he's waiting. So now he's sniffing. So because he's sniffing, I'm going to keep him there. Keep walking. So now we're almost down to the opposition's 22. Now anyone knows where it be? That's almost the other end of the pitch. So I'm going to sit him up. Ah, ah. Heel. Now he's got to focus a bit. So now he's walking nicely. Ready? Sit. So I'm going to walk. So this is literally the length of a rugby pitch. One retrieve. But he's had to show me some obedience. I came out last night. They just went to start rugby training. So I trained down here. He doesn't care about the rugby players. Back. He cares about getting fuss and rewards. As you can see, I don't know if you can see that, he's gone in a dead straight line, right the way up there, got the tennis ball. So now he has to run the length of a rugby pitch to bring it back to me. So it's a little bit of energy burn, mental stimulation. But the sheep are still there, look, and here he is. Drop, heel, ah, 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 heel. So some people might go, when does he have fun? Well. He has fun when I'm at the garden with him. He has fun. If I've only got 10 minutes, I take him to the field by my house and there's no distractions and we just let him run. He has loads of fun. But when we are in training mode, he has to be in training mode. Same as when your children at school, in class, they've got to pay attention to the teacher. When it's break time, they can go and play. But there's still restrictions around that. You know, they still have people in the playground to manage it and oversee it. But see, now he's walking looking that way so what he doesn't know is I've chopped that tennis ball now at the back of my hand and it's back behind us so he doesn't know it's there so this is now a blind retrieve he's got to trust me so I'm going to walk up here and this is uh, 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 this is where the this is where the uh, the whistle work comes in here yeah. here yeah. sit sit back so now he's going what's back there then what have you sent me for so we go slightly right you go past it before he comes back to it and you'll get a scent in a minute and you go oh there it is so he's too far to the one side but he's turning so i'm just going to leave him be let his nose do the work so, he's got to come so as long as he stays between the outside white line and this line i'm going to leave him to hunt if he goes too far i'm going to make him come back in so he's turning back in. So now he's burning energy and his brain's working. And you can do this with a pet. You've just got to put some time in. Good boy. So now he's found it. Here he comes. Okay, so. We literally came from my house to here. Sit. Two retrieves. Panting for fun. You. So I am going to get a lot more videos made over the next two weeks, but I'm also aware that people don't have time to watch loads of videos, so I don't overload it. If you have any requests, message me. I'm going to video some more lessons. I keep saying it, but I will do it. I'm going to video some more lessons because I think people learn a lot when they watch back what they see. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Five to ten. It's getting a bit too hot now. I'm going to do one more retrieve with him, and we're going to call it and I'll take it back out to it with Kuro. And I might video that as well to show you exactly the same process. It's all about being consistent. It has to be consistent. Never a day changes. If I go down to the forest of Dean to walk in with some friends, he still has to be as obedient. I don't let him get away with it just because they got their dog. It doesn't happen. Anyway, have a good day, everyone. Enjoy the weather. If you're at work, 
maybe not. Enjoy the three days of sun of our summer and then we're back to it. Anyway, I'll catch everybody later. Take care.